All right, guys, what's yep. up? I haven't been on YouTube in a pretty cool minute now. Uh, honestly, I bought a 3D printer, and I've been going a little nuts with it. So, I'm making a video. This is the 6S Wrestler 4x4, the 2200 KV build with the X01 complete diffs. Uh, you know, aluminum motor mount, ultimate VXL drive shaft. Uh, as you can see, this little white part over here. This is actually what I want to make a video about today. This and some other things. So, I made a ESC mount for the MXL 6S. So, as you can see here, it's got the on-off switch right there and yeah i opened this hole up a little bit more so the fan can cool that esc off a little bit better um it's just a little bit it's like honestly it's like it's like a millimeter over stock so it's it's not much but yeah as you can see there it is um uh, i did put a little a little logo on it if you can see here, just a little something, something, you know, a little bash on, you know, keep bashing, bash on. Uh, here's some different colors that I did. Here is it in orange, gray, blue, and I've got some other colors inside. I've got uh, black, um, obviously white. Uh, what other color do I have? Oh, and like a like a army navy like an army green, like a tree green. So here's the stock one, the TRX, as you can see. Uh, a few video, a, a few videos ago, uh, I was talking about the plastic XL5 dry shaft, uh, wearing a groove into this right here. Never replaced it, didn't really care, but you know, now that I got this printer, I just want to do everything. So, you know, uh, this is the first thing that I did for my wrestler 4x4 and pretty stoked it came out pretty good um, as you can see I don't know if you can see see in there how it's all built up that actually uh, keeps it from sliding back and forth I mean the screws of course they secure it downward but you know from force from sliding forward or backward uh, it's kind of built up like a uh, like a little triangle in there, like a pyramid, sort of. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. But, and then, check this out. I made this too. It's a little cover for the, uh, the little link slot. So I don't know if you can see. You can, oh yeah, there, there you go, perfect. So you can see the print lines. Now this is printed directly on the glass bed. Um, no glue, nothing. Just right on the glass, you know. Um, what do they call it? A good, a good uh, smash or smudge, whatever. Anyway, it adheres to the bed very nicely. And then you, you get this... You get these lines, you know, you can see them if you if you turn it in a certain way, you know, you can see them. But as far as smoothness, man, it, this it, it's like glass, guys. It's really smooth, really smooth. So on the inside, I, you know, I did a little design on it. Um, basically, it just has the clips that are up top that clip up into it. Um, and then it just says Bash King. So, you know, but it does use... The stock screw that you already have on your remote um it's a very very snug fit so you'll just pop it in push it in with your thumb put your screw in tighten it down and that's it um i made a bunch of these in the different colors and threw them up on my ebay store kind of figured maybe people might use them like uh hey i got a i got a blue traxxas uh wrestler so i'll buy a blue one because i have multiple TQI remotes, so, 
you know, maybe I'll buy a blue one for my blue Traxxas wrestler, and uh, I'll buy a orange one for my uh, X Max or my Max, whatever. You know, just an idea. Let's see if it see if it goes anywhere. Probably won't, but yeah, I'm selling them for like six bucks. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see here. All right, let's move on to what I've. Uh, why I've been MIA pretty much from uh, YouTube. I have been working on the Traxxas Rustler two wheel drive, and I have been doing a lot of custom stuff for it. So let's take the cover off and I'll show you guys what I've been doing. Everything orange. Uh, well, let me start this off different. This is not my design. This is on Thingiverse. I didn't feel like making one, so I just grabbed that from Thingiverse and printed it. And these arms, the shape of the arms, the the initial shape of the arms, and you know the the cutouts and the holes and everything. That's not my design either. This is pulled from Thingiverse. I just did, I just added a little logo, you know, Dean's RC's, you know, whatever. Um, they're not mounted. I don't have a transmission back there. Uh, let's talk about the stuff that I did design. <clears throat> um, so I designed these arms right here. These arms, uh, they're actually 12 millimeter longer than the stock front Traxxas Wrestler arms. XL5 and VXL, same size, uh, or they both run the same size. The one that I made is 12 millimeters longer. I made a V groove, um, one of these push rods or toe links, whatever. Um, yeah, these are pretty sweet. These are also 12 millimeter longer. So how I am going to connect this into the uh, bell crank, steering bell crank, is I'm actually going to go with one of these blue ones uh, that is for the back. Uh, when you buy these, you get four and two are shorter. Two go to the front, the longer ones go to the back. If you take the longer ones and you use them up here for the steering, then they will work. So, we'll be getting to that pretty soon. Um, that's looking a little, oh, there's just stuff on it. Okay. Yeah. I designed this right here. This is also printed right on the glass bed with no glue. So this is like super smooth, super smooth. This, you can still see the print lines in it and whatnot, but check this out. So I designed this a little bit thinner than the original one. And I put a little star on it, yeah, some stars on Lots of things, but anyway. Uh, so I designed it to where if you run it this way with the block edge down, it fits your nickels in there nicely. But if you run it this way, block side up, you can fit to the Traxxas 3 cell 11.1 um, LiPo batteries in here. And you can also run the 2 cell hard packs, the hard case. Lipos. Um, so this turned out pretty cool. I also was satisfied with that and put it on my eBay. Um, this I'm still kind of working on. This is the ESC mount. It's the VXL. Um, as you can see, I actually forgot to put a hole back here, but that's something that can be drilled out. Um, I just take another VXL plate, flip it over, put it on top of it, match the holes up, maybe sink a screw through it so that it holds it together, line it up straight, and go ahead and I got some drill bits that are metric that will drill it out to you know M M2.5 and also thread it too so that's pretty cool I just threw some little stars in there some wedges um, reduced a little bit of weight on it just put a couple slots through it and whatnot this I designed um, this actually took took a while and took a few prints to get to get right, but the holes line up and everything. It's got a nice groove. I put my little my little logo in there, Bash King. Put that nice uh, little skull in there between the two humps. These humps 
or actually for the servo to rotate and you know not catch on um, the bottom of this plate is supposed to have some posts that the steering bell crank actually slides onto and rotates on so this is still in the design so what I did was is I can't do posts. I could, but I'd have to print this thing like standing up with hello supports and stuff, and they would just take a lot of material. So what I did here is I put some slots in there, and they're about three millimeter deep. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to design the posts, and then I'm going to offset the posts onto some blocks that will go right into there. So they'll snap into there, and then they will secure down into those holes on the other side too when you tighten the top plate down. They will be able to snap into the top plate, but, but when you install it and you actually put the plate down onto the chassis, that's when you'll need to snap them or line them up with the holes down there so your steering belt crank is securely installed. So, yeah guys, that's what I've been working on. Um, I haven't released any of this stuff in my eBay. Uh, this is, I'm st still designing this right now. I have my, des this is going to be the de design, but I haven't designed the, the stuff underneath yet. So I'm going to be getting on that. These are good to go. Um, like I said, when this is all set up, you just need to run these longer ones and boom, that all works. Suspension lines up, shocks are good, everything. Um, as far as where the shock location is, the shocks are just as far out from the center of this hole to the center of this one as they are from the center of the hole to the second hole on the original arm. And like I said, these are 12 millimeter longer, 12 millimeter longer. Um, yeah, it's just something, it's something that I'm working on. Um, I am going to redesign the rear end. I think I might design my own arms, um, and I'm going to do 12 mil longer, 12 longer, and then I'm going to do what I did up here with some some V slot or V groove uh, push rods, 12 millimeter longer, of course. Um, that's that's about it. That's kind of all that I really want to do to this, um, unless I des decide to like add something, like. I don't know if I want to put some LEDs on it when it's all built up and stuff. I might like do my own custom box, maybe mount it over here, and then I'll have like my battery pack uh, for the LEDs. I don't like to run the LEDs off of the ESC plug. Um, I feel like it drains the battery more. Probably not, but whatever. I just like to have a separate thing right here. So yeah, I might have an maybe make another box. It's not going to say Traxxas because it's going to be my design. I might put like a little skull on it like that with the heart or with the star. But, uh, like I said, this is not my design. This is a thing of verse pull. And so are these arms. But this, 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 these, and these are all my design. And this MXL6 ESC mount that I've got in a few colors here. So that's what's going on, guys. And uh, yeah, so uh, I'll try to keep up and make some more videos and, you know, keep you guys uh, updated and stuff as I keep making parts. It's just, you know, having a kid and trying to design all this stuff and trying to do eBay and. You know, it's just, it's just crazy. And the weekends have been crazy. We've had to, you know, drive like 70 miles from here to my hometown every single weekend because there's been birthdays and Easter and whatnot. So it's been kind of hectic. So, uh, yeah. Uh, next video, I'll be showing you guys a bunch more, a bunch of more stuff that, uh, I'm going to come out with and I'm going to design. So, all right, guys. Peace.